What's going on guys, my name's Hypnostic and welcome to a brand new MWZ video. So on my recent video where we tested out the longbow, I made a statement which I may need to retract. I said that all snipers except for the longbow are trash and zombies, but there's another sniper that actually does perform pretty good. Someone by the name of Crumbling Darkness Sphere commented that as well and said that the XRK Stalker is good, so of course we'll have to bring it in for some tests. Testing. Before I get into the build I'm using for the XRK Stalker, I quickly want to thank Mitch Cactus for sponsoring this video. If you're interested in unlocking the Interstellar and Borealis Mastery camos, or you just want to play in easier lobbies to quickly level up your weapons and unlock camos, or if you're a Zombies player just interested in unlocking all the schematics, then go ahead and check out MitchCactus.com. They have over 10,000 reviews on their Trustpilot page and are the safest and most professional Call of Duty service out there. Be sure to use my code HYPNO for 5% off. So I'll go ahead and infill, make our way into the tier 3 zone, get this bad boy pack punched, and then we'll do some testing. So I'll see you there. Alright guys, we are here in the tier 3 zone. We got our XRK Stalker to pack a punch 3. Got this mangler right here. And we two shot the mangler. Nice. So damage output is definitely higher than the longbow. Um, I can already tell it's not as mobile. Sprint to fire speed's a bit slower. ADS speed's definitely slower. But damage output is great. Right, so we got this Disciple as our target. Let's head on over there. And we'll see you guys once I'm by the Disciple. Alright, Disciple's right up ahead. Let's start shooting at that guy. See if we can hit some headshots here. Okay, yeah, once you hit those headshots, his health bar just goes down super quick. Alright, let's try to hit his arm. Come on, there we go. Get those headshots in. Nice. Come on, there we go. Contract complete. That was super quick, man. We got epic Aether tool plans too. Large bag, NSL res, death perception too. Ain't no way, man. We've been having some good luck with the loot here. So no HVT contract, so let's go do that spore control contract. Man, it feels good being able to one-shot zombies. So the armored zombies do take two shots, but you know, that's that's normal. Reload time ain't too bad either on this thing. Uh, sprint movement speed in general is decent. So mobility is all right. Damage output is great. I don't know, man. We'll have to do a few more HVT contracts here for me to really know if this thing's better than the longbow or not so far i still prefer the longbow oh that guy just took our contract <laughs> all right let's go do the outlast contract hopefully we get a few disciples to spawn in as well so yeah like i was saying i definitely need to do a few more hvt contracts with this thing to really know if it's better than the longbow or not i personally prefer the longbow it's also the first sniper i really started using for multiplayer and uh during beta as well, I was using the longbow quite a bit, doing some quick scoping. Of course, the stalker wasn't released back then, but you know, it's. I just like the longbow, man, I can't lie. There we go, picked up the contract. And like the cat AMR, I love that thing for Warzone, but it's just way too slow for zombies. Like, there's no point in using that thing. You'll do a lot of damage, don't get me wrong, but. It's, it's just not a good choice if you're in the tier 3 zone where you want to move around quickly. Um, you know, you want that sprint to fire speed to be on point as well, which it just is not with the Cat MR. One thing I will also say is that the reflex side on the longbow from the uh, video two days ago, I believe, or yesterday. I'm not sure, man. I'm losing track of days here. But yeah, that sight is definitely a lot nicer than this one here on the stalker. This was just the uh, best red site I could find. All right, so it's looking like our dog's doing a great job at being a decoy for us. <laughs> All the zombies were down there. Let's go, we got a disciple. It's just a roaming disciple. So it's a two shot kill. Nice. And Mangler is about a three shot kill. Okay, beautiful. Oh man, this thing is nasty. We're doing a lot of damage on these zombies there. All right, so two shots got him to one HP. It's, it's like a two to three shot. It just depends where you're hitting, right? If you're focused on headshots and you're relatively accurate, 
you'll be ripping through everything here in the tier three zone all right let's see what we got this time elemental pop recipe and a self revive i'll take it two schematics back to back let's go very nice no contract no way um all right i'll go kill some time and once a decent contract shows up i'll get back to you guys you know what might as well do a deliver cargo real quick right <laughs> with this luck who knows might get something really nice there we go cargo delivered and nothing okay never mind still no contracts man let's go take that unless there is an hvt contract but that's like on the other side of the tier 3 zone so let's go ahead and pick this up this will kind of get us to the middle area and from there we can do the hvt contract there we go pnd has been activated very nice let's hope we get a good amount of disciples spawning this time Man, we're at 20% and we've only seen two zombies. 30% and still no more zombies. We got a couple outside here though. The dog's on the other side killing the ones coming in as well. Ooh, we got a mangler here. Nice. That's two shots, three shots. Okay, so it's a three shot kill. That is insane, dude. Still not as overpowered as like the Lockwood 680 or the Tears, but definitely a great weapon for farming the tier 3 zone we got this disciple here too first one for this contract it's almost dead and there we go and there we go contract complete refined ethereum crystal i'll take that thank you very much oh yeah we've been having some great loot today let's go for that bounty contract back there and we got a mimic god damn it Got another Mimic right here. <laughs> Man, it's a two-shot kill. That's insane. Ooh, bunch of zombies here. Yeah, we're like cladding the zombies too. Oh yeah. This thing feels great. Just look at that, dude. <laughs> oh my god. There we go. We got the Mimic attacking us already. Let's try to hit some of those critical shots. Let's focus on the dog. His health bar is about halfway though. Okay, let's try to get rid of these. There we go. Alright, let's keep firing at that mimic. Bunch of zombies on him too. Oop, we're about to go down here. Alright. Let's keep focusing on the mimic. And contract complete. <laughs> oh, that's good. Deadshot Daiquiri we already have. There is a bounty contract right in front of us, so... Fingers crossed, we actually end up getting a Mega Abomination contract this time. That would be nice. Come on. Come on. Give me that Mega. Come on. Come on. Mangler. Nope. Man. Well, we do have that Mega back there. But like I said, it's a roaming Mega, so it'll be a lot easier to take out. Um, hmm. Got that Disciple there, too. Come on. Two shots, three shots, four shots nice all right i think we'll uh we'll fight this mega why not let's go for it all right he's got one face lit up he's gonna charge try to avoid that okay he's focused on the dog that is not very good oh dang it's a one shot to the critical spot to actually destroy one of the faces no way that's like yeah, that's a Lockwood 680 type damage right there. Man, there's a lot of zombies here. There we go. Good thing we got the Aether Blade with us. So we can prioritize this Mega. Oh, dude. They're all on my dog. There's a Mimic there, too. Oh, God. Okay, laser attack. Two shots. Okay. Two shots and we destroyed that face. Nice. Okay. Come on, focus on me. There we go. We got the Mega on us. Nice. Alright, dude. Use another laser attack. Wait, I think my Hellhound died. No way. Damn it. Alright. I'll avenge you. No clue what his name was, but I'll avenge him. Ooh, got that Disciple on us too. Okay, two shots, three shots. There we go. Beautiful. Alright, let's get that reload in. Take out these zombies here. 
And then we'll have to uh, take out that disciple further back. Alright, still alive. And there we go. Disciple dead. Let's see what we got from the mega rare aether tool. Eh, not too bad. But uh, legendary tool would be better. Alright, let's continue on our journey over to the mangler. Take that guy out real quick. And fingers crossed, once again, we'll get a Mega Abomination contract. Alright, where's this guy at? He's probably gonna be to my left here. Yep. Nice. Alright. Beautiful. Let's keep lighting this guy up. Got some zombies on us. Okay, he's almost halfway dead. Come on. Yep. One more shot. Nope, one more. Come on. There we go. Contract complete. Yeah, we're just freezing through the contracts here in the tier 3 zone with the XRK stalker. This thing's good, man. Oh, we got someone pleading for help there. We might as well go pick him up. Since, um, you know, there's no HVT contract up right now. Ooh, we got two mimics on us right here. Damn, dude. We're risking it all to go pick this guy up. Never mind, no problem. We got the XRK Stalker. Oh, there's another Mega right there. Oh god. All right. Let's see, I think I'll distract the Mega and that guy there reses or what? No, I'll we'll just go for the res. Yeah, I'll go for it. Nice. All right, let's get this guy picked up. There we go. We did something nice. Ooh, that's a lot of zombies, man. There we go. Took that Mimic out as well. Mega Abomination's about halfway done. Not sure if we should actually finish him off or if we should go look for a contract. We might as well. Why not? Come on, use another laser attack, dude. He's almost dead. Come on, make your face glow. I know you want to. Come on. He's literally like five shots away from dying. Critical shots. Oh, there we go. That's gonna be it. Nice. Beautiful. And Mortar Strike and Rear Aether Tool. Okay. Not bad. But uh, yeah, overall, man, I'd have to rate this thing a solid 9 out of 10. I don't know. Damage output definitely feels a lot better. Then the longbow, the longbow is a bit more mobile though. I don't know, it's a hard choice, man. If you're strictly just looking for something that you can deal a lot of damage with, then this one's definitely better. If you want something that you can run around with, you're mobile with, then the longbow is definitely where it's at. Oh no, he's pleading for help again. <laughs> All right, I think I'll go pick him up and uh i'll call it a day after that but yeah man thank you all for watching if you guys have any suggestions for other weapons i should check out then drop a comment below i'll give you a little shout out do some testing dang i probably shouldn't have done the outro when there's so many zombies trying to kill me and there we go let's pick this guy up yeah thank you all for watching hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever in the world you are and as always Goodbye.